11 arrests, including four Tucson UPS workers in a nationwide drug trafficking scheme. Today, 10 of those people were called into court. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris. And I'm Valerie Cavazos. The men are charged with shipping money and drugs use, using UPS. Nine on your side's Craig Smith is live at the UPS shipping hub on Silver Lake with more on what happened today. Craig? Well, you know, this busy UPS shipping center is really at the heart of this case. Investigators say four UPS employees helped move illegal drugs and money, and eight other non-UPS workers brought them contraband to move. Now, Tucson police officers assigned to the Counter-Narcotics Alliance say UPS supervisors Mario Barcelo and Gary Love used what they knew of UPS procedures to get drugs and drug money shipped without being discovered. And drivers Michael Castro and Thomas Mendoza were UPS drivers who helped move the contraband. Band. Eight other defendants who were not with UPS are also charged, including one who has not been named because he has not been found and arrested yet. Today, they appeared in Judge Leanne Rhodes' court for arraignment. She entered not guilty pleas on their behalf. That's routine for this early stage of a case. And she set a mid-January hearing with another judge to work out the next moves in the case. The judge also agreed to reduce bond for Raul Cordova. Police and federal agents raided his home in Pima County. They say they found marijuana and the equipment to make vape pens that deliver THC, the chemical in marijuana that delivers most of the high. He had been required to post a quarter million dollars in cash to bond out. Now he can post a percentage, perhaps as low as $30,000. Now, today we did learn a little bit more about some of the defendants. Three of them have fiancés. We know because they came to, came to court in support. And one defendant, Mario Octavio Sequeiros Diaz, did not appear because he's been, he has been deported. Reporting live, Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.